Alright, alright. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showcasing some of I some of the builds that I think should be like that you guys should use in this end deals. First up we have this cool build that I saw actually on the official release on the poster. It is a sturdy shelco armor with some star with the Starless Knight and the Call of the Wolf. As well the artifacts are Tomo Duplication, the Shadow Shifter, and the Vex Though I think I should switch to Tomo Du um the Shadow Shifter. It doesn't really you know, like fix me, so I'll switch it for this 160 void. Oh, okay. So now that you've got the build, I'm gonna go pause the loop and heat. And I'm gonna go test it out right now. Test it out obviously in question mark, question mark, question mark. Alright, here we are in question mark, question mark, question mark, and now let's go test it out. Charge and multi shot or something. I also recommend using the warded arrows and maybe a shadow shifter or a vexing chat. It doesn't really matter, but I prefer using the vexing chat. This is obviously a very good, great build because you'll see this sh the sturdy shelter armor will stun mobs and then you can walk them aside with the strongest knight. So these two kind of work in sync together to get rid of the mobs. Of course, you can always add extra enchantments that will work even better together, but I'm just saying without enchantments, these are still pretty simple. Build. Anyways, I also think this is a pretty tanky build because there's uh, the, the, the reflect enemy projectiles and less damage. Oopsies. <laughs> and less damage whenever like they're swarmed. Okay, let's move on to the next. Build. Okay, so here we are for second build, and it's this: the veiled crossbow, the unstable robes. Obviously, you can always use the um, teleportation robes the non-unique variant of it, but I recommend using the unstable rope still because it has some better, like, um, stuff. Anyways, then the weapon is the swift striker. The artifacts are definitely a shadow shifter or two, if you can get your hands on two, that'd be great, but I'd prefer just using one, avoided quiver, and teleport duplication. The unstable robes, when you roll to teleport, it will give you plus 50 souls, which will allow you to be able to use this, and then from this, you can use ambush. So, now let's go test it out in the battlefield. Traveling to question mark, question mark, question mark. Alright, alright, here we are in question mark, question mark, question mark, and let's get testing.
Alright, I'll see you next time in another video. Peace out. Uh -huh.